The well, holiday season is a time for celebration, but for some of our neighbors, it can be a time of hardship. A Peninsula-based nonprofit is working now to spread the good cheer through their annual Holiday Helping Hand Drive. Now, earlier today, I spoke with Ellis Ogamonian. She's a volunteer with the group Moms Against Poverty. Ella, good morning to you. Good morning, Stephanie. I miss you guys out there at Cron 4, but as you know, I've been working with organizations uh, throughout the community whose work I really believe in, like Moms Against Poverty. They help kids around the world, um, but the need is also here at home. The holidays are a fun time, but a lot of our neighbors are actually struggling to keep up between the cost of living here and gift giving, which can be quite stressful. So they're stepping in as they do every year during the holidays with their toy drive called Holiday Helping Hand. And it's happening now through December 15th. So uh, we're encouraging people to help out and drop off new unwrapped toys at three different locations, uh, all in Burlingame. This is a local nonprofit based out of Burlingame, and they actually get a lot of help from the Central County Fire Department as well as local allies. And now we're asking your viewers to do the same. So uh, three different locations where people can come bring those toys. Um, that's the main public library in Burlingame, the Easton Branch uh, Burlingame Library, as well as the Moms Against Poverty Office that's located at 851 Burway Road in Burlingame. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for that information, Ellen. Of course, it is good to see you as well. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Moms Against Poverty. Walk us through the mission statement. How long has it been around for? So it's been around for over two decades, and the founder and CEO is from the peninsula. Her name is Delphary Fanayi, and I had the pleasure of meeting her a few years ago while I was um, out in, you know, doing community work. And I got to learn that she, over the years, has helped millions of children through this nonprofit organization and the people that contribute and donate um, around the world, 16 different countries. They help with kids who don't have schools, so they actually build the schools and educate them. Uh, they provide medical uh, supplies for children as well and clothes and food. So a lot of it is hunger relief as well. So um, unfortunately, we are seeing these needs, like I mentioned, here in the Bay Area too. So they've pre-identified kids along the peninsula. And in the past, they've helped 2,000 children wake up to a gift for the holidays. So they're ch we're trying to make that happen one more time, again, with the help of anyone out there that's able to do that. So, you know, some people might not want to uh, make the time to go out and buy a physical gift and drop it off. So they actually made it pretty easy for anyone to help. They have uh, two registries, one with Amazon and one with Target that they put up on their website, momsagainstpoverty.org. So that's another way that people can contribute to this fabulous organization that I've come to love so much. Yeah, and we were just showing some video. It looks like a lot of people out there doing gift wrapping. Um, are those volunteers or people with the organization? It's a mixture of both, but the people with the organization are actually volunteers, but we're inviting more people to come out on the actual day of the gift wrapping because while we are collecting these toys, between now and December 15th, it all culminates with that really exciting event that you're watching uh, video and pictures of, which is happening Sunday, December 15th in Burlingame at the Parks and Rec Department. And so everyone's invited. It's a big party. Uh, Santa himself will be there and people will come out and then wrap those gifts during that big festive party uh, with food and dancing and then put those gifts together to then be delivered to the kids that have been pre-selected with uh, the community partners out there. Yeah, sounds like such an inspiring time. Now, are there other ways that people can chip in? Um, and you may have mentioned this a bit earlier, but just outside of this holiday wrapping event. You know, it's this organization is working around the clock and you know, every month of the calendar. So it's one that I do encourage people to look into if they do want to help out specifically with children in need and worldwide because their footprint is huge. The scale at what they're doing, having started from just, you know, a small place, a mom in Burlingame is uh, really inspirational. So take a look at how you can help out. But um, what we are asking for specifically during the holidays is to help out with this toy drive and um, drop off some of those new unwrapped gifts at the three locations we talked about. Or again, just simply click on the Target or Amazon registry list that has um, been provided to make it really easy for everyone to take part.
Yeah, and as we start to wrap things up here, no pun intended, <laughs> um, you know, what type of toys would you say are most in demand for the organization at this time? You know, that's a really good question, Stephanie, because it's a range. So they are accepting gifts for, you know, kids as young as infants to actually teenagers who are 16 years old and in high school. So it's quite the range and they need a lot of variety in those gifts, as you can imagine. So whatever comes to the imagination, whatever people are willing to give, um, whatever they can give, you know, I know it's a hard time for a lot of people, but maybe, you know, somehow they were able to, to get in touch with um, a couple of gifts themselves that maybe they're kid wasn't interested in <laughs> okay. but yeah so it's it's a variety and we welcome anything that people are willing to provide that is appropriate for kids between again uh infants age to 16 years old all right wonderful ella sogamoni and volunteer with moms against poverty thank you so much for joining us this morning thank you stephanie have a good day you too happy holidays we'll be right back